This is example 3 of chapter 9, class 10, page number 197, BSC. Here also we will use some theorem and its uh, usefulness to, to solve this simple. Here the diagram is also given in the diagram, well in the question. Okay, the two circles intersect at two points. There is two circle, this circle and this circle. They intersect at A and B, two points A and B, clearly written. Now, out of them, AC is the diameter of the first circle, this circle. And AD is the diameter of this circle. Diameter means passing through the center, passing through the center. So they will have two different center here, O and O dash. It is not written here O and O dash because diagram is given. In the question, diagram is given, okay? Now you have to prove that B lies and on the line segment. Now you have to prove that this B lies on this line. That means this is a straight line you have to prove, okay? So now we will be solving this. Try to understand the question again. Once again, two circles are there. They are cutting at one and here A and B. After that, both have diameter AC, AD. Okay. And then you have to prove that the point where these two are cutting here is a straight line CBD. Okay. That's true. And so while solving, you will draw the diagram once again. We'll make it solution is here okay diagram was somewhat like this I'm redoing this because this is a question diagram I'm not touching that this is just the diameter this is a this is C. I'm looking at the diagram. This is O. This is O dash. B. This is D. Okay. Suppose this is the way we start. First of all, what I'll do is I'll join these two points. Why I join this? Because I know that in a circle, whenever there is semicircle, okay, this you can see they both have diameter like this diameter if diameter is there that means this angle is going to be 90 degrees that is a theorem 9.3 or 9.4 we have this theorem okay let me see the theorem is 9.9.4 9 i guess the yeah, 9.3 says angle in the semicircle is right angle so when i see the semicircle it strike here that there must be 90 degrees somewhere but if i see this diameter semicircle but there is no triangle in order to make this a triangle i have to join this okay similarly in this circle also i have the diameter so here i strike you have a theorem in the circle which says semicircle means 90 degree but semicircle but no triangle that means a triangle chance is here there's a chance of making a triangle so i join this that is a trick okay that should be striking at the end of your mind when you see this type of question now now you look at very easily, you can see that A, B, C, this angle is 90 degree. What is the reason? Reason is theorem 9.3. The angle at the semicircle is 90 degree. Same way, A, B, D is also 90 degree. Here, first you write join A, B. Okay. Here, what you do? Angle A, B, C is equal to 90 degree and angle ABD is also equal to 90 degree. What is the reason? Because what is the reason? I'll write the angle in the same seg uh, angle in the not same segment this is 9.3 have to write exactly the angle in a semicircle is a right angle because angle in a semicircle is a right angle. So this is angle in this semicircle. Okay. If you want to see separately, this is the one. C B A. 90 degree. Here also the other circle you want to see. Other circle is like this. You see here, 
B A D separately. This is 90 degree, isn't it? Why? In a circle, semicircle angle makes 90 degree. Okay. So what? Therefore, what I can do is if I add A B C and A B D. Look at this triangle, these angles, this angle and this angle. What will happen? Angle A B C plus angle A B D. What will happen? Equal to 90 degree plus 90 degree equal to 180 degree which will mean that what thus B is a point on CD which is a straight straight line C B D. Clear? Otherwise, it would never be 180 degrees, isn't it? 180 degree means what? If something is 180 degree, that means what? It is a straight line. So here I got 180 degree. These two adding these two. C B D is a straight line. That means it is a 180 degree. So it is a straight line. So this is how you prove that B lies on the line segment. Okay, which is a straight line. Right? So thank you.